Hi everybody, this is Pastor Susan and welcome to another day of devotions this week as we are considering the actions that follow what being is in our lives. And this week we're talking about being loving, being loving. And uh, today I want to share a quote from Sister Mary Rose McGeady, who says this, there is no greater joy nor greater reward than to make a fundamental difference in someone's life. Do you want to make a difference? Truly make a difference in someone's life? Well, consider what this is saying to you today. Um, it was you Sunday. This this another story out of my book here. The service was progressive. It had progressed smoothly in spite of the usual avant-garde approach you would expect from young people. One of the 16-year-olds had preached a his first sermon, and I have to admit, it was really well done. Gabe used no notes, and he spoke from the center of the chancel rather than from the pulpit. He was poised. He was ready. He, he spoke from his heart. Following the sermon, he issued the invitation, and he stood there, as I always do, waiting for someone to respond, but not really. Since it was Youth Sunday, no one was really expected to come forward. But lo and behold, here comes a couple to join the church. I was sitting on the front row and could see Gabe's face light up as they moved forward. I stood up to join them. When I came up to Gabe, he was grinning from ear to ear. I gave him a hug, and as I did, he, he excitedly whispered to my, in my ear, I got me one. <laughs> I got me one. When Jesus called his first disciples, who were Galilean fishermen, he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of people. And the scripture says that they immediately left their nets to follow him. I've often thought about why they did that. Why did they leave their livelihood, their families, everything that provided security and stability to up and follow an itinerant, an itinerant preacher? I think there are two fundamental reasons for their decision. First, I believe in what Jesus said. They believed it. They believed Jesus when he said, I'll make you fishers of people. That the Gospels make it pretty clear that at first they did not fully understand who Jesus was. They did believe his message. But was that limited understanding enough for them to leave their professions and their homes to follow him? No, the disciples needed more than just wanting to sit at Jesus' feet every day and suck up his teachings. They needed a reason more powerful and compelling than, than that to leave everything. They needed purpose. And Jesus gave it to them. Follow me, and I will make you fishers of people. You know, I've heard people say, I just want to be happy. And unfortunately, lots of folks are looking for happiness in all the wrong places. If I can just earn a six-figure salary, I'll be happy. If I can just find the right soulmate, then I'll be happy. If I just have the right nose or sculptured figure, even if it means spending thousands of dollars to have surgery to get it, then I'll be happy. But true happiness was never found in any of these. If you want to be happy, really happy, make a difference in someone's life. Fish for people. Share your life and your faith with those God brings across your path today. You don't have to strong arm anyone. Just share your life and God's love and see what happens. Who knows? You may just get you one. The scripture that I'd like to share with you today is uh, from Ephesians chapter 6. And we're looking at how people who were slaves and masters, but, you know, it's the lesser to the greater, how they were to relate to one another. And um, in verse 7 and 8, Jesus, uh, the uh, writer says, Render service with enthusiasm as to the Lord and not to men and women, knowing that whatever good we do, we receive the same again from the Lord, whether we are slaves or free. Jesus wants us to allow his light, his love, his being that lives within us to make a difference in other people's lives. So that whether we're serving or we're leading, whatever it is that we find ourselves do, doing, we do it to the glory of God out of a heart of love. And as we do, we will make a difference. 
we might just get ourselves one from time to time of sharing God's love with another person. Maybe so in your life and maybe so in my life as we live today, live for Christ this day with love. Amen and amen. Thank you.